Hello friends, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today in this video, we are going to talk about how kidney failure patient can stop protein coming out of their urine. It is problem for every kidney patient. Protein coming out of the body can cause many problems because if the protein level in your body drops, then your body will produce less hemoglobin. The body will get tired and the patient get weak day by day. That is why it is very important for kidney failure patient to control their protein levels in urine. But how should we do it? To understand how we can stop protein from coming out of the urine, we need to dive a little deeper into the medical science. When our kidney gets damaged, the nephron present inside the kidney, primarily responsible for filtering out all the base material like creatinine and urea, these nephrons get inflamed and swollen. Due to this swelling, the protein they are holding starts leaking out, which makes our urine milky in nature. This leaking protein increases the amount of foam present in the urine also. In such case, when you urinate, you will notice the amount of bubble present is more than usual. So how do we reduce the amount of protein leakage from a kidney failure patient body? If we want to reduce the amount of protein leaking from the body, we need to keep the swelling and inflammation of the kidney, basement membrane and the nephrons in control and in check. We can do this by removing anything that is harming the kidneys. So let me ask you a few questions and you answer the questions for yourself. First, do you have high blood pressure? If yes, then this may be the problem. Second, is size of the, your kidney is reduced? If yes, then this shrinking of the kidney, which can also a result of high blood pressure, is a reason for the leaking of protein. Or you have diabetes for a long time. So these work for 80% of the patient because if you have problem from high blood pressure, high sugar level, then these are the factors which are affecting your kidney. And as long as your BP remains high, your sugar level remains high, it will continue to harm your kidneys, which will also result in high level of protein in your urine and high level of creatinine and urea in your blood. So the first thing we need to do is to take out of these ailments from our body so that we can work on kidney with full concentration. Let's see how we can handle these issues. As you know, normal blood pressure levels are 120 by 80 mm of Hg. This level is for a normal average healthy individual. But do we come in the normal category? The answer is no. That is why. Our kidney needs extra care. For this, we need to maintain a BP a little bit lower than the average values. That is why always try to keep your blood pressure in a level of 70 to 80 mm of Hg, which is a diastolic blood pressure. Something between 72 and 75 will do. The second thing we need to do is to work on our diabetes. If you have diabetes and sugar remains beyond 180, that that is around 200, 250, then you need to be more careful. Ask yourself, is your sugar level are normal? If your answer is yes, but in actual, your sugar remains on levels between like 180 and goes by around uh, 250 after lunch, then this is not a normal for a kidney patient. We need to keep our sugar level normal for 24 hours always. So if we control these two, then ask a question yourself, will our kidney will be affected? The answer is no. Will your protein level in urine will fall? The answer is yes. But do you know there can be other reason as well for the protein in urine. Even stress can also result in protein leaking. During my practice, I have observed those patients as well who were highly stressed in their life. They did not have BP or sugar, but still they were suffering because of stress. When we have stress, we cannot sleep properly and our body starts getting damage and they are hard to repair. Small cells present in our body dies and new ones are made. But what will happen if these new cells are never made? Then we see different diseases, one of the which is kidney failure. Because all those cells are dying, which is natural process, but these are not replaced by the new cells if the patient is suffering from stress. At these places, what we see is inflammation and as the result of our body starts leaking out the protein in urine. Now, this protein in urine is not due to the BP or sugar and we get tense with no answers. 
for these cases as well we need to work on the removing the root cause of the problem however presence of protein in urine can also have another reason that can be ig nephropathy or polycystic kidney even in these we have to work on the root cause though we may not able to address all the issue because these are genetic but still we have to take control to avoid worsening the situation now you have seen and understood how we can reduce protein in urine when we remove these causes and control the level of bp and sugar then in maximum cases we can see improvement in their body as no other harm is there to the kidney However, to remove inflammation that has already been done, we need to think of taking anti-inflammatory treatment in order to remove inflammation. Nowadays, almost every medical practice has some kind of anti-inflammatory treatment. For example, allopathy in which we use steroid and in Ayurveda, we use anti-inflammatory medicines. If we see and if you take treatment earlier, you might have observed steroid have side effects if we consume for a long duration. However, if we talk about Ayurvedic anti-inflammatory treatment, we focus on improving the functioning of the kidney because with this, we can also bring down the high creatinine levels. With all this information, I hope you have now understood how we have to work on protein coming through urine. If you still have any question, then our doctors are available. You can talk to them and share your reports with them. Once you control the main cause of your disease with our help, then you will see not only your kidney will go down, but your GFR will also increase and the symptom in your body will automatically disappear. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.